guys welcome back to my channel so for today's tutorial we are going to need Adore's dark chocolate semi permanent hair dye we're also going to be using one and a half cups of boiling hot water a teaspoon and of course a bowl to put all of this in our lace frontal and then some salt to cut the redness of the brown dye so I'm going to start off by pouring all of my boiling hot water into this big bowl and then of course use the teaspoon to measure how much dye is actually going in and then I'm going to stir this all around until all of the dye comes off the spoon and is completely mixed into the water. Now this method is actually a lot easier than the tea bag method, which I do have here on my channel as well. But I must admit, I like the tea bag method a lot better, just because I have a red undertone and the black tea kind of gives me that. But I understand that everyone doesn't, and so this method is a great alternative. Now that that's all mixed in, I'm going to use the same teaspoon to measure out a teaspoon of salt and then go ahead and work this into our mixture, making sure that everything is dissolved. This will cut out the redness that you may get from, you know, the brown dye and it won't have our lace frontal looking, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> If you watched yesterday's video, you know that I had a little bit of malfunctions with the dyeing the hair blue-black and a little bit got on the lace, but we ain't even going to worry about that. I'm going to go ahead and dip my frontal in for 10 seconds and then I'm just going to go ahead and put it up towards my arm, make sure everything matches like how I like. Keep in mind you guys, when you take it out, you do want it to be a little bit darker than your actual skin color because you're going to wash your frontal again. So of course some of the dye is going to pay, fade off and it's not going to be as dark as you thought it was going to be. Plus it's going to, you're going to wash your hair over time and it's going to fade over time. So it's just easier to make it a little bit darker when you're first starting off. So that is it for today's video you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned for tomorrow's video.